Morocco this week. And today's adventure, we're going out to Belil. Um, hopefully I'm pronouncing that correctly. We're gonna try to get off the uh, beaten tourist path a yes. little. What, two or three extra days to... Yeah, so everyone said, don't spend too much time in Chef Shaolin. And we did, and we loved it, and it was the perfect amount of time we got to really explore and experience the city and how kind people in Chef Shaolin were. So I actually love that. So we have the same amount of time in Fez, which everyone said, oh, that might not be enough, and I feel like we can kind can of Can I speak that on that, though? Yeah. So I think a lot of the things we read about how much time you need in Fez, in the ones I read anyway, they were saying to take day trips to Shifshaw and take a day trip here, take a day trip there, and kind of use Fez as yeah. like your hub, which is fine. Yeah. But for us, we'd spent that time and we'd already done those outside areas. So, so we've ended up with a little more time in the Fez than, right. than, we, than we had to fill. So a lot of people will do just Marrakesh or just Casablanca and just Fez. And then from those two cities, do your desert cancel though. So we have the luxury of being able to do each of those towns individually and all of this day trips individual. So I did come across these this cave village. So everything I've read, I I haven't seen any travelers that I could find that have been here recently. Uh, the most recent vlog I found was like 2020. It talked about you're right at the base of the Atlas Mountains. Uh, you can find someone who will let you come into the cave homes. The unfortunate part is as technology comes, a lot of these people after 500 years of their family living in the caves, they're moving to houses in the now city. the Wi-Fi signals aren't good in the caves. Yeah, they're not great. You know, it just blocks everything. <laughs> um, and then, so now they keep those homes in the family as more of a, a tourist, like they can, they'll show you around. So we are kind of winging it here. We are hoping to find, from what we read, people will stand out and like tell you they'll be your guide for the day. So we're going to see if we can make that happen. Uh, if not, then who knows? It is a beautiful area. They produce a ton of olive oil here. So we're actually passing olive trees out the window you can see I they're can everywhere and there's plant, probably yeah. an olive oil plant they're all over the place so maybe we can figure out a way to to get in to one of the smaller plants because i think that would be pretty fun too at the very least buy some super freshy fresh yeah. 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 and uh anyway we're having a great drive it's a beautiful i don't know thursday afternoon so we see all the kids coming and going from school. It's been pretty fun. There's an olive oil sign on that fence, by the way. Ooh. Okay, we're definitely taking olive oil on the next house with us. And uh, hoping to end the day with a little waterfall adventure. So let's go. So we're not exactly sure where we're going, but we drove to the top of the hill here in town so that I could get some footage to show you because this is a beautiful view and gives you a scope of all of the olive trees and things here. And you can see the farmland just goes for miles and miles and miles as we get into this mountainous region. And the town is actually very colorful, the red bricks. It's so beautiful. So now comes the exciting part of our day where I don't know where we're going exactly. The roundabout that we were told might have like tour guides. I don't know if it's because we're on an off day and off season, I don't know. But there's no one there, so off we go to wander. So we did a loop around the town, had some amazing views, saw some beautiful spots. They have a cute little market. We love just seeing like normal day to day in the villages as opposed to like big tourist cities. So we enjoyed it quite well. However, we were not able to find anything about the cave houses. There's no indications of where they could be. Um, and so we're gonna continue on to Sefru. Um, this is supposed to be a really cool town as well and also near the waterfall. Um, so if you would like to see the cave dwellings, that's something that looks like you're gonna need to find a guide. So either ask at your accommodations, like if you're in Fez, you can ask someone if they know of a person and they can definitely help out there or hop on, you know, the TripAdvisor Viet or something like that and find yourself a local guide that can take you into the houses on your own. Back. Yeah, on your own, yeah. it's a little difficult. I'm gonna keep researching while we drive, see if we missed anything, but from what we can see, it might be best to have a local to guide you. As we get headed back out to like the main road that leads to Sefru, we noticed around the corner are places that look a little bit more like some of what I saw in the pictures from people's um, 
Google reviews of like the cave houses. So we turned our, or so we turned up towards the hill. You can definitely see like it would make more sense. Here's a hill that that's where houses are. There's these like cave openings all over, which who knows what that now might be. Looks, but then there's looks very these, made, which are very much homes right into the mountain. So we're gonna take a risk and take this dirt road. Um, definitely. I'm glad that we came this way, even if we aren't able to get in, it's still really cool to see that like, this is, this is real life for some people. Like, I like being able to compare and understand better where people come from and what um, it would take to live in a place like this, but these homes in the mountain would be, you know, you would need AC and all of that, but it, from what I've read, some of them now even have run in electricity and things, there's still 40 or so families living in these homes. So if you follow the Google Maps to the town, at least like the city as it is now, but you see here begins the very little gate. Oh, a little sad that we can't get up into the the houses here. I was looking forward to uh, being on a new kind of adventure that was off the beaten path. Now that being said, I'm still loving this drive. So uh, the actual town of Belil is, it looks like they're mining out um, like the whole hillside there. There's tons of big trucks coming and going. So a little different. We have stopped here in the beautiful town of Sefru. We've just pulled aside. We're gonna go into the city wall, find maybe a little snack, um, wake up a little. Girlfriends had a good nap while we wandered around. Um, it's absolutely stunning little town here. Hey boys, stick with me, let's cross. So we don't know exactly what we'll find, but excited to just go. The um, the Medina here is, is totally local for the only ones who aren't. I have no idea what this is called. It's got like some potato and eggs. We don't and even meat. know what it is. It is freaking delicious and costs all <coughs> 80 cents, which is why we do what we do. New adventures, new foods, this is delicious. We picked up some grapefruit. I had the most delicious sandwich. Um, he has, hey, what do you got? This is like Moroccan churro, we'll call it. But it's uh, like a cookie, but it's braided and it's very airy. It's got, it's crunchy and then covered in sugar. Here, let me see your cookie, buddy. Moroccan churro, until we learn what it's really called, huh? We are loving that it's just a quiet town of people going about their day. Um, so there's no like pitching or anything. It allows us to see the really non-tourist part of Morocco. Yeah, those cookies are freaking bomb. So just for example, that cookie's probably 12 inches long, that churro thing. It costs one dirham, so that's the equivalent of 10 cents for a little cookie. So it makes it nice because we can be fun moms and keep their blood sugar up and say yes. <laughs> While they pick a drink, tell me what you found. An entire Lance, we're gonna army walk this of chicks. Me. Lance, are you sharing that with me? Can I pet one? No, probably not. Please. So the fail of the caves aside and the cave homes, we're really enjoying Sefru and the market here in the Medina. We're very, just inside very the calm. city wall. Very it it's not a tourist market at all. Um, the kids are super stoked because they just saw all the little Let's baby chicks. Them. You can hear them from a mile away. And there is some seriously beautiful handiwork. Uh, we did get approached right as we parked of someone who wanted to show us the Medina and all give us a tour and like all that, which is not something that we were interested in. So you do have to be kind of firm, like, nope, we're just gonna wander. Nope, don't like share any permission, because if that's your speed, if you feel better having someone walk you through, don't worry, you don't have to find them, they'll find you. <laughs> and just so you know, as soon as someone asks where are you from, you're about to get pitched. That's, so that's if you want to just be able to walk around, enjoy yourself, there's all the birds. Just, just enjoy your time. Out. 
as soon as they say where are you from realize that's that answer. person's trying to do some kind of tour or something so and do whatever you want to from there but you have to be pretty firm you have to say yeah. i don't need anything like you, please go back please, to your day please so here's the thing if you want to get all your vegetables fruit and that stuff here it's great i personally would not buy meat here it's it's out okay in the sun. You're, you're right about that but it. my point was going to be this market has cleaner butchers than any of the others we've been to in morocco yeah they look pretty clean but i mean the meat's just hanging out it's not just sitting out conversation um yeah the sitting out like bags like five chickens plumed and, and so they do have I would rather buy the meat from a refrigerated section of a grocery store. The thing is, it, it, I don't know, it probably tastes better here because mm -hmm. it's probably way more fresh. And I'm sure all the food we eat in the market is that's where it's coming from. But I just don't dare to. Uh, that's why my lunch was mostly vegetarian. I just don't want to get sick. And I feel like. Yeah. I feel we like might the, have tempted fate enough already. The risk is higher than the reward. On yeah, that. yeah, I can see that. But fruits and veggies, though, these markets are awesome. Oh, yeah. But I'm eggs. actually super excited. These weren't. Uh, we bought grapefruits and they look phenomenal. Treats. We've gotten treats. We've eaten a lot of street food. We've a lot high. of street food. As you walk out of the Medina, it's actually a really beautiful park here. And then you've got the, the mountains beginning here. For those of you who are following us from home, in our home state in Utah, it actually feels a lot like St. George with like the mountain here looks the same, the, the sagebrush and everything feels about the same. Um, so it definitely gives me a sense of, of home, even down to the weather today. So we're in the car on our way to the Cascade or the waterfall and Google Maps had us take one direction. Then we saw a sign, like a street sign, and so we called the street sign and said, uh, it looks like we're headed to the same place, it's just maybe... Yeah, Google Maps takes on some pretty main roads. Yeah, like, our main... This road's not very main Not a main road. road. We're the only ones driving on it, which... Oh. Oopsie so whoopsie. Why behind closed school? Why whoopsie? They're like, what if you're just not supposed to go on the road here? I don't know. So, hopefully we'll find somewhere to park that then we can go up to the Cascade. We went as far as you can on the road, then it's blocked off, so we've parked. The car's all locked up, and we're just walking up the street here, following the river. We don't know how long it is. I read it's one and a half kilometers from the city, but I don't know if that's from this parking lot or from, like, where the taxis pick up. So, on a lovely walk we go. Yeah. I wonder if where you read it was closed. That's all it was. Could be. It was interesting. There was uh, like a tour van here that was just leaving as we pulled up, and there were two police on motorcycles, one in front of and one behind the tour bus, which is interesting and makes you wonder why. This is a beautiful lot. There's people hanging out. Jump off? No way. There's nothing to jump to. I'm probably just hanging out. We've probably walked all of 10 minutes, maybe, like not even a quarter of a kilometer, and we've made it. So, mile. quarter mile. Yeah, probably like 500 oh, meters or so. Beautiful area. There's a police presence here, so if that's something you're concerned about, they're up here. <laughs> famous puppies everywhere. Yeah, put it on camera so it can Oh, be it's so beautiful. Stop that. So, we'll, we'll give you a peek. A lot better than the waterfall at uh, in Mexico that we went to. So if you saw our video of the waterfalls, the Aquaria Falls outside of Shepshawan, they were very different than this. Uh, we are the only non-local here right now. It's about three o'clock. That's probably not going to change. I don't think that will change, but maybe in the mornings it does. The fall is absolutely beautiful. Uh, the sound is great. The water's not too cold. The boys are going to swim. They've dammed it up a little bit. So the boys are going to jump in. And then all of the locals are just encouraging our littlest just jump. And they're high-fiving him. It's pretty cute. But uh, it is a nice shady spot. I think you'd have shade no matter what time of day. Outside of maybe half an hour at noon. Because you've got trees on one side and cliffs on the other. So just having a beautiful time. Eating some snacks. Hanging out by the river. Oh, the game we're playing is called Target.
Target acquired. Target acquired? Yeah. How do you play? We take turns. We take turns. So it's my turn. You float it down I the river. float this down the river. So wherever you want. There, and then, then I dive in and chase after it. And yeah, swim it, it goes back. down a waterfall. And then we swim it back. Take it back up. And then we float it down. Up. And then he does. And it. then I do it. And I can do it from any point I want. Yeah. You should get it on uh, video. Mommy to show you the game on video. Okay. Don't you want to wait so there's not so many people on the bridge? As school has gotten out, there's just more and more kids coming. It's incredibly busy. You can just see them flooding down the stairs. There are a few girls swimming for the first time. Um, kind of makes me wish I would have brought a suit. There it goes. They wait till it goes over the falls, located on the other side, and hope they can jump without anyone in their way before it gets lost. It's all the way down there by those girls. So this is the game they made up called Target Acquired. Uh, something we learned in our travels is uh, it takes very little water to entertain these boys, but a swimming hole really is the best of the best. How do you feel about our adventure today? You love swimming holes the most? We've had an awesome time. We spent an hour swimming. There's a little like snack stand. You could get tea while you're sitting here. People have like mats out you could pay to rent. On your way out, there's this abandoned building. When I searched this place on Google, one of the reviews says that like, oh, this place has been abandoned. And I didn't know if that meant like people don't go there anymore. Um, but it is definitely well trafficked and very much a local spot, which is exactly what we were hoping for. We had a great time. Uh, definitely suggest follow the signs in the town, not the Google Maps, because that will lead you up ahead. And then you got this route was definitely better. Super good. Super good swimming. The swimming was cool. awesome and the water was And there's that diving platform. Just so you know, if you do it, go into like the chair position. So make it like you're sitting on a chair, but put your feet straight out like this. And then like this is so your like feet this. are straight out like this. And that will Or just get in the you know. Either way, or get a ball or belly flop. She went just don't die. Clothes, so. yeah. But we didn't, and we of course, I was the first in, because I always did. Of course. Of course. <laughs> Overall, I think this is a very uh, successful adventure. Kids are all amped up. <laughs> uh, you could take a taxi to here if you would like to. But hopefully this gave you an idea of something a little bit different to do if you're spending time in Fez or in the area around Fez. Sefru is a beautiful town and definitely if you like a quieter pace, an option, a decent place to stay outside of Fez. And uh, we like the waterfalls here. Still think Chef Shawin might have it beat by a long shot though. Thanks for joining us on today's adventure. Come back for more. Thank you for joining us. Thanks for joining us and we'll see you next time. See you next time. I am Dogface. Like and subscribe.